Hello Panthers, welcome to episode 3 of Panther Pulse. My name is Alex Andre and I'll be one of your anchors for this episode. And I'm Zerio. I'll also be an anchor today. Let's begin our, our day with the land acknowledgement. Out of our deep respect for Indigenous peoples in Canada, we recognize that all Toronto Catholic District School Board properties are situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabek, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat peoples. We also acknowledge the land covered by Treaty 13 is held by the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and, and Toronto, Toronto is subject to the dish with one spoon covenant. We also recognize the contributions and enduring presence of the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples in, in Ontario and the rest of Canada. Please remain standing for the national anthem sung by Miss Van Pinkston's class. Oh, Canada, our home and Thank you, Ms. Van Pinkton's class. Great job. Let's turn ourselves for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord our God, in your wisdom and love, you surround us with the mysteries of the universe. Spend your spirit upon us and fill us with your wisdom and blessings. Help us devote ourselves to our learning today and draw ever, close, ever closer to you, the source of all knowledge. We ask us through Christ our Lord, amen. We will now have Abigail lead us in our Father in her language. Tegunia, spoken in Eritrea. Esmaam bowa lo feskudus haramak ame. Absimai tina bera bona sim kaik edes mings ha tinta ba kakum absimai kome maam drefun naile tingera na lo mi ha mena ne nas bedona beragam sa na lo bere na haragana kakufat na bera fetnai tetuna mengistin hajin kevin zirale matkai mo ame. Hey, Alexandria. I heard we have lots going on at SMDP this week. Can you fill us in? For sure. Tomorrow, our boys' basketball team will be heading to St. Nicholas for their divisional tournament, and the girls will be doing the same on Thursday. Good luck, Panthers. On Wednesday, get ready for a virtue assembly. Don't forget to wear pink on the same day for Pink Shirt Day, spreading kindness and standing up against bullying. And on Thursday, the intermediates are heading over to Mother Teresa for a special Black History Month presentation. It's going to be an incredible week filled with meaningful events. Wow, we have lots going on here at school. Thanks, Alexandria, for that update. Now we have, now we head over to Cello for an update with our basketball coach, Mr. Anglin. I'm here with Mr. Anglin for a quick sports update. Mr. Anglin, how have the teams been doing since the last time you were on Panther Pulse? Uh, the teams have been great. Uh, the boys have been in, I think, three tournaments since the Panther Pulse uh, and have been victorious in all three of them. Um, no losses, only wins in all three. And uh, the girls also participated in a tournament. Uh, they did fairly well, but uh, lost in the finals. But we're going to come back strong. And going forward, I'm not sure if you had that as a question, but we do have a couple of tournaments upcoming that we hope to continue um, with our winning ways. That's some pretty good news. How do you think the teams can improve? Uh, well, the boys can improve by just making sure that you know, we're moving, sharing the ball. Uh, the boys, are, they're, they're, they're pretty good. But uh, girls, we need to work on our, our defense a little bit. 
um, and just making sure that we're moving on offense. But for the most part, they're, they're doing pretty well. There's always room for improvement, but where they are right now is, is also really good. Um, and last question. What's your favorite part about coaching? My favorite part about coaching uh, is basically just getting to see my, the players and the athletes kind of improve over the year mm -hmm. and just being able to provide another out, outlet for students, right? Obviously, you guys are here in school. I'm a teacher. I'm here to teach. But being able to coach is being able to see students in a different light and being able to engage with the students in a different way. Um, so that's kind of what I like about coaching as well. And I like sports. So Thanks for the update, Mr. Anglin. Thank good, you. And good luck to the teams. Now All back right. to the news desk. Thank you. As you may know, Lent began on Ash Wednesday, which was February 14th. Lent is a time for preparation for the celebration of Christ's death and resurrection at Easter. Lasting for 40 days, from Ash Wednesday to the evening of Holy Thursday, the season draws us towards the light of Christ. During Lent, many Chris Christians commit to fasting, as well as giving up certain things of in their life, such as favorite food or a bad habit. Sometimes, instead of giving something up, people may take Lent as an opportunity to do more of something positive, such as helping out their parents around the house or volunteering in the community. Now let's head to the schoolyard with JC to see what some of our Panthers are doing for a lot. Hi, what's your name? I'm Adarola. What are you doing for that? I'm giving up video games. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Miss Rochella. What are you doing for Lent? I'm going to give up treats like chips and cookies. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Yvonne. What are you doing or giving up for Lent? I am trying to give up uh, drinking a lot of juice. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Ricardo. What are you giving up for Lent? Chocolate. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Zion. What are you giving up for Lent? If I had to choose, I would say... Eat healthier foods. Thank you. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Savannah. What are you giving up for lunch? I'm fighting with my sister. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Kyla. And what will you be giving up for lunch? My device time because I'm on my device is too much. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? My name's Renzo. And what are you going to do for Lent? Not eating any meats on Fridays. Thank you. Awesome. Now back to the news desk. Now for the fun fact of the month. Did you know that it's physically impossible for pigs to look up into the sky? Wow, I never knew that. Hey Panthers, as you know, February is Black History Month and we had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Errol Lee last week and hearing from him. Today we are lucky enough to have him sit down with us for a Panther Pulse interview. How are you doing today? I am doing very well, thank you. My first question for you is, what inspired you to be a singer? My mom. <laughs> My mom is a singer, and so I grew up watching her um, singing on television and um, different places and my, my dad too my dad's a music producer and so I would go and, and watch him do his thing too yeah how did you begin your career as a singer when I was about 12 years old I wrote a song with uh, that my mom and my aunt helped me to write and I sang in front of uh, the whole school um, I did a special solo and it felt good it felt right and so that made me even more um, desiring to pursue a singing career what do you want your audience to know when you listen to when they listen to your music that they're loved that they're valuable that um, they matter number one that's the kind of artist that i am it's really bad for me I, and then that uh they can freely listen to my music and not worry about bad lyrics i'm i'm, I'm a good lyric guy i'm very conscious of those who listen to my music and how 
what I'm saying to them. And lastly, why is it so why is it important in your opinion to celebrate Black History Month not just in February but always? So, as uh, Jean Augustine put it, that Black history is Canadian history, and it's our story to tell. And so, I believe it's very important to honor and celebrate Black history as Canadian history. And so, that's that's history happening all the time, you know. And so, yeah, that's that's the reason. It's it's history. Thanks for those answers, Mr. Lee. Now we will do a round of rapid fire with you and your son, Gabriel. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We're ready. Hot or cold weather? Hot. Hot. Laundry or dishes? <laughs> Laundry. Mm, laundry. Never be stuck in traffic again or never be get never get cold again. Never, never get, get cold stuck. again. Never get stuck in traffic again. Meet your favorite singer or meet your favorite actor? Singer. Singer. Definitely. I'd like to meet Michael Jackson. If he was still alive. If he was still alive, yeah. Are you a morning or night person? Night. night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Singing or dancing? Singing. Dancing. Passenger or driver? Driver. driver. <laughs> Sweet or spicy? Spicy. Sweet for me. Mac and cheese or spaghetti? Spaghetti. Mac and cheese. No, spaghetti. Mac spaghetti. And spaghetti. And spaghetti. <laughs> Instagram? Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. TikTok. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Marvel. Would you rather be rich and sad or happy and poor? Rich happy and sad and poor. Would you rather have the ability to go to the future or go to the past? Future. Future. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee and his, and his son, Gabriel, for answering a couple of our questions today. It was very nice to get to know you more. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Today, we are here with two members of Parent Council, Ms. Natalie Elizante and Ms. Jackie Beekmeyer. My name is JC, and I will be interviewing you today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, first question. What inspired you to be a part of our parent council? Ooh, that's a tricky one. <laughs> we do it for the kids. I think um, just making the school a more fun place is our inspiration for sure. Yep. Yeah. What are some things the parent council has planned for the remainder of the school year? Whoa, I don't know if you guys have enough time for that. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot <laughs> of fun things, actually. Um, we are... Not hosting, but we have a Marley's game event coming up on Family Day, which is really cool. We have a lot of parents going to that. Um, we also have a March Madness raffle coming up as well, so you can buy tickets. Um, stay tuned for forms. Um, we have a potential movie night planned as well. We it's have April or May. April or May. Um, actually, we were just talking to Mr. Narcisse about some fun ideas planned for, for June, for, June mm -hmm. for your camp day. There might be a bouncy castle. I don't know. Thinking about yeah. it. So hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's it for now. Okay. Don't get up too much, right? Oh, yeah. There's like <laughs> a big, we have a bingo night too, but again, just some crazy ideas in the works. If there are other parents who want to get involved, how can they do so? You can definitely send us an email. Um, of course, you're putting me on the spot, so I can't remember our email address, but it is on all of our newsletters that we send out on a monthly basis. Okay. That's amazing. The Parent Council has been doing a great job and has done a lot to help our school. Thank you so much. Now to Chalo for an L2L update. Today I'm here with Mr. Patel and Mrs. Yvonne who are in charge of the L2L tutoring program. So what is the goal for this program and how is it going so far? The goal of the program is basically to uh, increase students' math skills. Mm -hmm. uh, I've noticed, uh, not just in my class, but even in, in the school, that there seems to be a need for students to get extra help in mathematics. So this is why the program was conceived, was mm -hmm. to give students uh, in the junior grades an opportunity to advance or get more practice in some of their skills. For the tutors as well, to you know, have, um, have them work with uh, um, uh, another 
a younger grade. And it, it's a way for them to develop their collaboration skills as well and also and um, enhance their math skills and help the, the lower grades, you know, improve their math skills. Okay. How long is the program going to last? Though? So today is the last session, Whoa. in fact. So we started a little bit before the break and we decided that we were going to continue it. Uh, it is a big uh, responsibility, especially for our intermediates. Uh, as, as you know, the program is largely based and dependent on our intermediate leaders in the school. So uh, we have to, uh, grade seven and eight students that are involved in the program. They were selected by their teachers to undertake this responsibility. So it's a lot on their shoulders to uh, give up two hours a week uh, for math tutoring. So it's really... Um, them that we need to thank and uh, it's their sacrifices that have put this program in place but today is the final session yeah. awesome thank you you're welcome okay. what are you practicing today multiplication okay thank you hi hi what are you practicing today stem and leaf plots pardon stem and leaf plots okay thank you what are you practicing today um i'm practicing Place value. Okay, thank you. High five. Uh, what are you practicing today? Attracting and add and adding. Okay, thank you. We have now reached the end of episode three. We hope you all enjoyed it and wish you all a great week ahead. Remember, if you have the choice between being right and being kind, always choose being kind. I'm Alex Andrea. And I'm Zerio. We'll see you right here next time on Panther, Panther Pulse. Pulse. Hold the mic. Oh, what are you practicing today? Mathematics. What, what part? You're supposed to say multiplication. Oh, okay. Can you just get... Parlor map. I'm so my tenebrae, I'm gonna sing kaik at this song's heart. The pigs to look up into the sky. Wait, what part are we on? Wow, I never knew that. It was February 14th. Oh, wait, I messed up that. We'll see you next time right here on Panther. <laughs> I